Hey, hey, hey! Advice My Styles back this time with a question. Have you ever tried to copy makeup you saw on Instagram and even though your technique was flawless, you did a good job, the finished look just wasn't what you expected. I'll try to explain you why this happens. Therefore, on Simona, my friend since college, I'm doing the cut crease makeup. A bit simplified, just that we move forward. I'll flick it here in the point. So in the outer corner, um, I'll make a lovely flick, you see, here. Connecting the both parts together. This is quite a classic cut crease makeup tutorial. I won't define it that much as you see on YouTube just to make my point. So this is just to explain why Instagram makeup doesn't suit everyone. Lifting their eyebrow there with a bit of white and now going over with an eyeliner. Flick down, flick down <laughs> and here because Simona has hooded eyes. This is the only way I was able to make this flick because if everything there is black I can extend the flick outwards this you can actually do on pretty much all the hooded eyes but then the second thing is how this actually suits your face because um, it's corrective makeup that um, completely changes your eye shape actually Filling it in with a bit of red. This would look awesome on, let's say, pale girls. It's hard to explain like on, on which girls this makeup would suit. But if your eye is lifted, upturned, not hooded, this would look absolutely stunning. I should actually find a girl that um, suits this makeup. Go check it in depth with step-by-step -step illustrations on our website and also more thorough explanation. Going over with a lot of foundation, caking it up. That's why Simona's laughing because I'm like, I'll cake you up. <laughs> I'll put so much on that it will start, you know, falling down. Simona has wider lips and uh, I am extending it all in I said you know extending the edge over so you need to stay with me because I'll show you uh, how to change this makeup maybe corrective and also how different lines affect the way um, your face looks this is becoming quite heavy as you see already going over with highlighting contours all in <laughs> contouring her can be like, you know, this can be heart-shaped face, you can contour it as a heart-shaped face, otherwise it's all blonde. This is uh, the best example of an all blonde face, I guess. Therefore, I'm pulling the cheeks uh, contours towards her nose to slightly shorten it. If, if I would elongate them, she would look... Um, what hard to explain, but she would look sad, actually. So I bubbled up the look a bit. Filling in the brows with a lot of pencil, dark dark brows, what you see on the Instagram lately. You see how structured the makeup is. Applying a bit of blush there and we are done. From the side it looks good but you know with this also hairstyle and so just because her eyes are that deep set this just can't look good because a, a whole eye just looks black you know. First, I'm correcting it just by putting some more vivid lipstick on. Even though that one before... <laughs> oh my god, we got so much fun. Even though that one before was sort of okay. Now, taking off some of the black from the bottom part of the eye. You already see how it lifts the eyes. But that black there is just way too heavy for how the eyes are stru structured. Um, I don't know how to explain you this stuff actually more, more in detail, but 
Where I applied an eyeliner, the eye is most sunken. You see? So... Well, this actually looks okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I, I actually like it now that we, we cleaned it. And I think she suits her hair so much when she pulls it back like this. Tell me what you think. Take care. Go check our website. In-depth makeup tutorial. And I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.